winners that are here. So Natasha told you that um, I've been gracious enough to associate with them, but it's quite a different story because they won't really actually give me much of a choice. Um, so this is my fourth year of association with Yamaha Fasino Miss Diva. And I think for me, the primary reason that I continue to be associated and really strive and work very hard with the organization to look for girls throughout the country is because of the immense pride and joy, I have to say, it's being a little selfish, but it gives me an incredible sense of achievement to be able to spend these three or four weeks with these girls that come in from all across the country. Well, uh, when you're in a pageant, it's just like, you know, uh, it's just like uh, as if you're in a, you're going on for Olympics or you're training for Olympics. You really get to learn a lot, but uh, being in a pageant, you really get to learn. You, you're like, you know, you perform your best under pressure. That's what you learn. You learn goal setting. You learn how to be the best version of yourself. I think that's what pageants teach you. Teach you. Yeah, we like a WhatsApp group with all the countries all together, and then a lot of the girls, they're married, they have two, three babies. So I'm like, oh my god, they already have babies. Already. Probably I had flaws back then, and I believe in working on my flaws. But I came back and I thought Miss Diva is a great opportunity for me to represent my country at an international platform. And here I am. I won the crown and I'm here. I'm very grateful for the Times of India organization and Yama Pasino and most importantly Lara Tata for guiding me throughout my pageant and for just grooming me to be this. Who am I? Who am I? Who I am today? Like sitting right here next to her, I never imagined that ever in my life. So I'm very, very grateful to be here. Thank. You. I'd say that uh, I became a diva, as we all know, a diva is an intelligent, a beautiful, and an extremely ambitious woman who know, who's really extremely good at what she does, and uh, she really works hard a lot for everything she wants in life and it also exemplifies class, grace and your personality. So I think that is all what I learned. It happens all the time. It happened just yesterday when we were doing the final auditions. It's so difficult. You'll find two girls who will be tied with exactly the same amount, the same points and then you don't know because only one of them can make it. बहुत अच्छा लगता है और I just like to wish all the girls all the very best. You know, participating in a beauty pageant is just like participating in any kind of sports activity. तो जो आप sports से सीखते हैं, यानी कि you know, being confident under pressure as well. So that's what you learn from beauty pageants. So I just like to wish all of them all the very best. और जैसे आपने कहा, बहुत सारे memories वापस आ जाते हैं क्योंकि सत्रह साल पहले मैं उन्हीं की जैसे थी. थोड़ी सी मेरे पास थोड़ा सा एक्सपीरियंस था क्योंकि मैं मॉडल रह चुकी थी लेकिन फिर भी जो पैजेंट की जो दुनिया है वो बहुत अलग है। I think one key thing if you're going to come and be part of this is that you have to submit yourself to this process. You have to have a really open mind. You have to be ready to say there are a lot of things that I don't know about. There are a lot of experiences that I haven't had, but I'm ready for them. And when you allow yourself to become open like that as a person, then you're ready for anything that comes your way and you really excel in it. You give it everything that you've got.